Two masters, now one back from lunch. Two o'clock, and zip for the wall. You know what's gonna happen? Yeah, the buff girls show up at the same time, and I'll be the one caught in the middle, and I won't be able to juggle them, and then jiggle me up! Wait. Shh. Someone's coming. Remember, a bird in the hand is not worth two birds, not Henry. Cafolino! Uh, did you find your friend Pasquale? I thought I was supposed to look for him after lunch. I'd rather find him sooner rather than later. Then we should have had lunch sooner. How else am I going to find out if Beatrice is here? First, he tells me to her lunch. Then he goes up gallivanting. Who knows where while lunch comes and lunch goes. I don't want to eat. If you want food, order it yourself. Yes, sir. As you wish, sir. After all, and you're the master. And take this purse and put it in my trunk. Right here, sir. Oh, and if I'm not back uh, by, uh, by dinner, uh, come meet me in the plaza. I will not trust if we found this Pasquale. As you were, sir. Okay, what was the key point to remember from that scene? That he said I could go ahead and eat. I mean, we're all agreeing on that, right? I mean, if he wants to not eat, well fine! But my complexion is not made for plastic. I'm just, I'm just thinking, you know, Papadino? Trap my day job! Yes, sir. Didn't Signor Pelate give you a, a purse with hundred ducats? Yes, indeed he did, sir. And why didn't you give it to me? What was it yours? Was it mine? What did he say when he gave it to you? So give it to your master. master. Um, who's your master? You are. So why did you ask if it was mine? Double checking. Where is it? Right. Here. So. I'll count it later. Is the keep around? Yes, he is, sir. Okay. Tell him I have a guest for lunch. Table for two. Pronto. Yes, sir. Would you like anything to go with that, sir? He uh, doesn't expect much. Five dishes or six. Take your pick. You're living it to me. For your judgment, for whatever that's worth. Oh, yes, sir. As you wish, sir. As you wish, sir. After all, <laughs> and you're the master. Oh, don't forget to put this in my trunk. It's a bank check for 4,000 ducats. As you wish, sir. Okay, do it out. Finally, my destiny calls me. This is the first time this master has told me to order lunch. I will show him I am a man of taste. Okay, now I need to stash this check. No, later. Is that one home? Rugella! The key to a really memorable meal is not a mountain of food in the middle of the table, but a beautifully laid setting. Uh, yes, Senior Triple Dino, you call. My master has a gentleman coming for dinner, and he needs a good meal and a memorable meal. Kitchen slot? 30 minutes. I'll look whatever you want. Great. What comes with what? First course, we got soup. Boiled meat, duck, and fricando. Hmm? Okay. I know the first three, but tell me, Brukella, what is a fricando? It's kind of a ragu. It's French for, um, uh, uh, taste good. Okay. We'll do that. Second course. Uh, second course. We've got fried fish, um, uh, fried fish and... Salad and um, try try. A trifle. These men are big men, hungry men. They're not gonna be satisfied with a trifle. No, 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 Senior Truffle Dino. A trifle is a pudding. It's from England. Ah, oh, well, it's English, but I'm sure it'll be uh, flavorful. Okay, about the setting. Don't worry, the waiter will take care of everything. <laughs> Excuse me, friend. This is my master's table, okay? This is not something to be delegated, okay? This is my master's table. It needs to be well made, okay? So here's how we do it. Now, uh, imagine this is my master's table. The master's table is over there. No, my master's table is over there. No, 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 the table's there. Well, just imagine for a second that this is my master's table. So you have the, the meat here, the uh, soup here, the, the, oh, the gravy here, and uh, oh yes, duck 
here and this be you know, remember, remember this kid is trying to have the, um, the boiled meat here and, and the French freaking stuff here as a, as a dessert and you'll have the um, yes, uh, we'll do this as the uh, fish fish will be next to here and down here uh oh, uh, you got your gravy a mile away from your meat ok, we'll just, we'll just move it next to you to be or not to be that is the question whether Tis nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortunes. Or to take arms against a sea of troubles by opposing end them. To die. To sleep no more. And by sleep to say we end the heartache and the thousand natural shocks that flesh is there too. Tis a consummation devoutly to be desired. Die, to sleep, to sleep, perchance to dream, either the rub, for in that sleep of death, what dreams may come when we have shoveled out this mortal coil, must give us pause. There's the respect, that makes the calamity of so long life. For who would bear the whips and scorns of time, the oppressor's wrong, the proud man's continuity, the pangs of despised love, the laws delayed, the insolence of office, and the spurns that patient merit of the unworthy takes. When he himself might as quite as make with a bare bodkin, who with fardels bare, to grunt and sweat under the weary light. But that dread of something after death. The undiscovered country. Where moves born, no travelers return, puzzles the living. And makes us rather bear those hills we have than fly to others we know not of. Thus conscience makes cowards of us all. The native hue of resolution. An enterprise of great pith and moment. With this regard, the currents turn that way and lose the name of action. So, you know, the fear of you. Nymph and thy horizons, be all my sins remembered.